This is the Simple Row Cuckoo. Each kite kit comes with one skin or sail, three bamboo spars, a winder with flying line, and two strips of paper to use for a tail. So the first thing we're going to do is talk a little bit about the sail. You'll notice the washi paper, there's one side that's very smooth and another side that's a little bit rough. They recommend that you decorate on the smooth side, but it really doesn't matter. I want to point out that the top of the kite has a little tab, whereas the bottom does not. Also, on, in the sail of the kite, you'll notice there's little pin pricks right here. There's two more here and here and one here. There's also two pin pricks down here at the bottom on the right and the left and then again at the beginnings of each of the tab marks. So the first thing you want to do is add your artwork and you can add your artwork with either ink, paint, crayons, markers, or pencils. So I've added artwork with permanent markers and so once I finish that I want to turn it over and now we're going to start gluing the spars down. And then I also like to keep a little cloth nearby with uh, that's slightly damp to help keep my fingers clean. And you're going to notice with the bamboo that there's a raw side where you can clearly see the grain and then on the other side you'll see some green marking which is actually the bamboo skin. So we're going to glue on the bamboo skin and you're going to notice that um, the spar is actually longer than the kite itself. So we don't have to run the glue all the way to the end. Just run it right down the spar. Once we have that on there, we want to even that glue out. You don't want to have too much glue. That just kind of ruins the paper. Less is best. So we'll just even that out, wipe our finger off. We're going to line up the very top of the spar with the very top little pin mark at the bottom of that tab. So we'll put that at the top of the spar there. It's going to run right down the middle of the kite between the two holes that are for the bridle point and then right off the tip of the kite, just like that. Once you've got it on there in the correct place, you want to mash it down. It's a good idea to turn the paper over and then rub that paper down onto the spar the bamboo. Once you've done that, we're going to flip it back over. And we're going to start with the vertical spars. So each of these vertical spars are marked. We've got one spar that's marked with a little black spot. The black spar goes on the bottom of the kite. And then the other spar that's marked with the red, it goes on the top. So again, we're going to place this spar, we're going to put glue on it, and we're going to start from the one of the pin pricks, and then we're going to make sure that this spar goes through the two sets here on the skin and ends up at this end. So we'll just take a little bit of glue, run it right down the stick, and then we're going to smooth that out with our finger. our fingers up a little bit and then you'll start on the right side or the left but I start on the right we're going to make sure that we go between those two pin pricks across the center spar back through in between these two pin pricks and then ending up down here press the bamboo into the paper where the bamboo crosses here in the center you will not have paper contact and that's quite all right. So once we've got that mashed on there, pressed on there, again, we want to turn the kite over carefully and mash. Again, try to make sure we have as much paper and bamboo in contact as possible. Not trying to mash right there at the center over the center spar though. That's okay. So once we have that done, now we're ready to glue on the black spar to the bottom. You'll notice this actually has a little bit more bow or as the kite flyers say dihedral. Okay, and we're just going to run right down the stick. And then even that glue out with your finger. Starting at the little pin prick by the tab. Make sure you go in between the two 
pinpricks that are right here. And then we have them again on the left side, right here, and then right at the tab. I'm going to press that bamboo down. Once you've got it pressed down pretty good, you want to gently turn your paper over. Press that paper down, just like that. So then you turn your skin back over, and now what we want to do is we want to fold these tabs over and glue them down, just as a bit of reinforcement. So this is when I'm just going to use this little bit of glue I've got here. I'm just going to dab it on to the end of the tab and then fold it over and press it down. Do the same thing here. Washi paper is a real strong paper that's made in Japan out of mulberry bush stronger than regular bond paper or paper that we use here for print paper. The Rokuku kite is a traditional Japanese kite. Rok is the word for six sides. So we'll fold this tab over. Now our kite has the, the bamboo frame on it. We can turn it over and see what we've done. Looks nice. The next step is to add the tail. Your tail comes in two strips. You can also decorate your tail if you want. We're going to glue these two strips of paper together. So we'll just run a little bead of glue across this. And then we're going to stick them together. Just overlap just a little bit. Make sure that's straight. There we go. Then we're going to turn the kite, find one end of the tail, turn your kite back over. We're going to put another little strip of glue just on the end. There we go. And then we're just going to glue it right across the bottom of the kite. Try to make it as even as possible. Now we have the tail in place. We're going to turn the kite back over and it's time to bridle your kite. This is a very simple bridle. We'll just take the end of the string and you're going to run your string through one hole around the stick and back out the other. So just Feed it through there. Comes through and it goes around this bar this, and then back out the front. And then we're just going to tie a simple overhand knot. We have one overhand knot and then one more. So we'll just pull that nice and snug. We'll do one more overhand knot like that. Pull it snug and that's it. We'll just center that up a little bit and now your kite is ready to fly.